Hello and welcome to this Elementor tutorial. My name is Peter Heck from PHI. In this tutorial, I will tell you how to achieve a custom sort of WordPress posts, not based on date, like it is normal in WordPress, but based on advanced custom fields. Have fun. Okay, let's start. So while in this tutorial, we need to use the advanced custom fields, uh, there are generally two ways or more ways to uh, enable the advanced custom fields. We can use the one which is included into WordPress, but they are not that fancy and not that uh, easy to use. So I would recommend to use a special plugin, which is called advanced custom fields. Just search for it. Oh, I need to say add new. I need to search for it. And then we have some search fields here. Um, make sure not to install the extended version, but here the advanced custom field, because the extended version will need the pro version here. Uh, is another also it's another plugin here, but you use the one from WP Engine Advanced Custom Fields. So install this. Oh, we need to wait a moment, and then we need to activate it. So now it's installing. Takes a while, and then activating it. All right. Now it's installed and activated, and now we have a new menu entry here called Custom Fields. Click on this, and the first thing you need to do is um, to add a field group. Uh, we can group certain fields here. Uh, if you need to use more than one custom fields, you can group them into a group. Uh, nevertheless, we will only need one, but we need to uh, add a new group. You need to give this group a name. I just call it post sort order. And I need to, at least for our um, tutorial here, I need to generate one field. I called this sort date and hit tab, then the field name, and this is important. Uh, we will need this uh, later in our script. And uh, that's all. We need to save the changes here. And then the field is generated and we can look upon that. Now go to the posts here. Um, we can just look at one of the posts we have in here, and then we will see at the very end here, we will have a sort order, which then has a certain value. Well, this value normally is empty. Uh, I already used this in a session before, so there's something in. If I would uh, go into another post, uh, let's try with another post like uh, this one, and then you will see that this value is uh, initially empty. So what do we want to achieve? Um, we have here uh, one of our customer pages, which is a cinema. And currently this uh, cinema has here um, on a widget and normal uh, post widget. Uh, let's just... Uh, because it's an archive page, let, let's just edit the archive. So here we have the normal post widget and we have here uh, in the query, we have uh, the order as scanning, um, which means that the posts which are here are displayed in an scanning order. And when I'm changing the uh, sort order here, you will see the first film is this film, Alcaraz, and the last film is Freibad. And when looking here, this is the first film, this is the, the last film here. And currently the search order is steered by the publish date, which this one here is the 17th of December, 11. 47 and the next one is the 17th of December 1152 and you see 
we're just using the same date and just increasing the time. And um, this is okay, but it's a little bit difficult, especially for the customer. So what we want to achieve here is um, to just use uh, the field, the advanced custom field we created to steer this order. Um, I will just demonstrate it with um, the first three uh, or four films or five films, which is January, February here. And I'm going to edit it and give the first film a value of 10. I'm not starting with a one and then two, three, four, because uh, if I would do this and I would like to sort in one post in between, I would need to renumber all the posts. So I'm starting here with a 10. And I will do this now with all the other posts. So in the meanwhile, I have edited all the fields on the post. And um, what we now need to do is um, to add this function here uh, to our WordPress installation. There are many ways to do this. One way would be to copy it and then just uh, go into your WordPress installation, go to appearance, theme file editor, select the function PHP, and then just insert it here into the function PHP. Well, um, there's a disadvantage here. Each time the theme is being updated, then you are losing the change. And then this could break your website. So a better way here to apply such changes or such PHP code is either to use a special plugin here or to use a child website. So plugin could be uh, something like custom PHP plugin, just search for it. There are several available. Here on my customers' websites, I'm doing it differently. Um, I'm using main WP for main WP for uh, managing the websites. And this uh, management tool is installing a child website uh, on or child template on each of the websites. And I can just use one of the extension code code snippets here to execute and save such code on a website. So I'm looking at my code snippet. I have here the sort post by ACF widget. And then the only thing I need to do, I need to select the website, need to make sure that it says execute on child side and say, save and execute snippet and then he will do it we look at the current process um, now he's checking all the uh, child site if they are already existing here um, nevertheless i install it only on one side and after he has finished here all the query of the existing sites he will look at the site um, which i've selected here and he's saying execute the snippet process completed successfully and that's all and now this code snippet is available now let's go to test it um, what i will do here now is um, i will copy this um, archive page here or this this um, uh, post widget here and i will go back and uh, just uh, create a new page just for test purposes i will take this page i will call it sort by acf uh, will publish it and i will add it with elementor Uh, I will just change the page layout to element full width so that I have the full width available. Just close the navigator. We don't need that. And I will pass the widget here and you see it's there. And uh, well, just for the sake of it, put some margin on top. Um, 
I will change the query here saying I will only have the January and February just remove all the others. So we have these five widget. And now it's about how to use this uh, sort order, this new sort order. And then we're looking again at our code. Um, this is the advanced custom field we are using. And here, um, what are we doing? We're, use, we're looking at the ID of the query and the ID of the query is sorted by date. I'm just copying this one. And uh, then I'm inserting this one here as a query ID. And we will see immediately that uh, it has now uh, refreshed it and we see the order is working. How can we check now um, whether our ACF is working? Uh, I will update this uh, and I will just go into the view page so that we see the page, the view page. And let's just change, um, let's say we want to put this film here at the end. The Unboy examen, we will put this film at the end. So let's go back to our posts. Select the film. Um, where do we have it? Must be somewhere down um, here, this one. I'm adding it. And I'm just, uh, instead of 20, just put in 999, oh, 999. And I'm saying update. Now I go back into here into the uh, post and just reload it. And then we see now it's at the end. And uh, if I want to place it between, let's say, uh, Alcatraz and Smile, and remember we took, or to, between, let's say, between uh, um, Meine Stunden mit Leo and Nicht ganz Kosa, between those two, uh, I'm just looking what value do I have with this film. Going back, look at the film here or look at the post, edit. I'm just going into edit. Um, I look at it, it's 30. And then what I can do is, okay, get again here into this film. And let's say I give it a I give it a 32 Up, update it. Go back, reload it. And now you see it's between those two films. So that's the easy way uh, how you can manage the sort order individually, just like you want in your posts. Uh, I will put uh, the code in the description of the YouTube uh, video. Feel free to use it. If you have any questions, just come back to me, uh, leave a command. And uh, if you are uh, interested in some other tutorials, which will follow soon, just hit the subscribe button and subscribe to the channel. Thank you very much for listening and goodbye. Thank <laughs> you.